I think it is important to, to take into account here uh, uh, international standards on, on freedom of expression and also, and more in particular, the way freedom of expression, the right to freedom of expression has been defined by uh, the European Court of Human Rights and the documents of the, of the Council of Europe. And what we can say here is basically, I mean, that, that, that the European Court of Human Rights, international standards, do not necessarily protect specific categories of speakers, but they instead, instead tend to protect specific categories of speech, no matter who the speaker is. No? Uh, and for example, political speech is particularly protected. No? Uh, and this includes speech from journalists, but also speech from other actors, including, as you said, for example, NGOs, activists, uh, etc. Uh, speech on matters of public interest is particularly protected, but this doesn't mean that journalists have the, or professional journalists have the monopoly, or let's say traditional media have the monopoly when it comes to reporting on, on matters of, of public interest. So making this separation would exclude, um, let's say, identical types of speech that are being disseminated by actors that are not media, at least according to the limited definition of media that, the, can, that can be found in the current version of the Media Freedom Act.